Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are on to our first semi-final of the Neo Blood Tournament 1996. PD My Heart Williams versus everybody's least favorite young boy Osami Shibuya. Trading low kicks on the outside here. PD is orthodox and Osami is southpaw. Nice trapping right hand by PD Williams there. Inside low from Osami, little skip on the uh, change of camera angle, which is nice and interesting. PD looking awkward as usual in the stand-up. He's got quite good stand-up, it just looks kind of gangly and weird. Ooh, PD caught the ropes for a second there and has hit a nice throw. Oh no, I lie. Uh, Osami dived under for a leg lock and is currently trying to toehold PD My Heart Williams. PD, of course, has done a good job of separating... Well, he's pushing the uh, other foot away, separating the knee pinch and should be able to come out on top, except Osami's had that idea himself. Petey's trying for a heel hook, and Osami's decided to go back on the leg locks. Uh, of course, Petey can't heel hook, so he switched to a uh, straight ankle lock. Osami Shibuya working for a reverse toe hold, but Petey rolls out of it nicely. Uh, Osami is there with a knee bar, but has missed that opportunity, and now Pete Williams is on top. In knee ride with a forearm in Osami Shibuya's face. Nice body punch by PD My Heart Williams. Slap from on top by Pete Williams. Ooh, a couple of hard strikes there to Osami Shibuya's face. Obviously, everybody hates Osami Shibuya on the ground, so they really give it to him when they slap him in the head. Osami's trying to kick up here. I think he's trying for a uh, TK Scissors escape, but he's not going to get it. In fact, he's just going to get beaten up on the bottom here. Oh, tried briefly for a bridge and roll, uh, switched up for a body lock briefly. Oh, go to that body lock again. Pete Williams using the uh, forearm in the face and the ref has stood them up. All right, back to the stand up. Awkward looking kick from Petey Williams. Nice flurry of strikes by Osami Shibuya, and a good shot, but Pili Williams has done a very good job of sprawling, and using that guillotine attempt has dissuaded Osami from driving in, and has used that to take top half guard. Nicely done, Pili Williams. Pete's walking Osami away from the ropes, making it a little bit harder to catch them if he wants to use a rope escape. And he's uh, walked his um, trapped leg and a half guard up, which is a good way to catch leg locks if you want to go for them. Ah, like that. He's dived over for the knee bar. And he's separated the legs. He's going to get that straight. Yeah, he's got that straight. And Osami has grabbed the ropes. So the knee bar from top half guard. That lion's den speciality has been put to use. Inside low kick from Osami. Body kick from Pete Williams, Osami Shibuya has caught that and finished a uh, turning takedown. Ooh, Osami's dropping back on that uh, reverse toe hold again. But Pete Williams' legs are significantly longer than Osami, so it's going to be very difficult for him to get the required leverage. As a general rule, having longer legs in a leg lock fight is a good thing. Uh, they're just sort of stuck in an awkward place. The way Petey's got um, Osami's feet pinned to the floor is uh, quite a good way to prevent him from securing any locks. Right, Osami switched over to the inside. Now we'll see what he tries for. He's trying for a toe hold. Hey. 
Ready? Yep, and the ref's sick of that, and so they've been stood up. Halfway through the match. Because the uh, first round matches are 10 minutes, and the uh, final is, I believe, 20. Uh, shot there from Osami. Uh, Petey stopped that using a whizzer. Uh, Osami tried to kick through for the knee bar, but missed it. And so Petey is now on top in Osami's half guard. And of course they'll be stood up because Osami was halfway out of the ring. Not much going on in the stand-up. <laughs> Slow slinging uh, high kicks from Petey Williams. Both didn't really bother Osami, but they did allow Petey to get into the clinch. Uh, Petey's driving Osami up against the corner here. And the way Osami's set up, I think he's going to try kick through for a knee bar, although Petey's uh, on the back. Osami did try to roll through and he's trying to hit a switch, but Petey's following him round in the right way. And using that, um... Oh, no! Osami managed to get in on the leg lock attack. Uh, Petey was doing a good job of using the half Nelson to keep control of Osami, but Osami managed to finish his attack and come through. Petey's trying for a reverse toe hold. Well, actually, no, it's just a normal toe hold, except instead of going to a figure four, he is using the grip on the heel. A uh, little skip in the video there, but Petey has come out on top in Osami's guard. It's not too hard to work out how that might have happened. Palm strikes from Petey inside Osami's guard. Forearm choke attempt from Petey Williams. Osami's uh, pushing down on that, trying to keep his airways open. And Asami is learning the dangers of having a primarily wrestling-based attack attacker system. When you can't get the man down, you're stuck on the arse end of well a beating. Inside low from Asami, body kick from PD Williams and a palm strike. Nice double leg by Asami Shibuya, managed to turn the corner on it, but PD managed to stop it happening. When Asami switched to the single leg, PD managed to step right over and take top. All right, but now in Osami's half guard. See, there was very good uh, defensive wrestling there by Petey Williams to prevent that uh, double leg from being finished. Ooh, nice palm strikes there. Good ground and pound from the top of half guard. It's a good place to beat up a man. But yeah, all that time in the lion's den must have helped because Petey stopped the very deep takedown attempt. And that's not the first one in this match. Right, Petey is coming up to, uh, sort of tripoding up, uh, trying to finish that pass and slice to the middle of Osami's half guard. And he's also kneeling on Osami's uh, arm and doing some damage here. He's nearly finished that pass if he slides his knee all the way through. Doesn't matter though, the ref has stood them up. And Osami looks just a little bit tired. Ref said fight, but then he's changed his mind and fixed Petey Williams's knee pads. Fight. Awkward ass movement from Petey Williams. <laughs> Inside and outside low from Osami Shibuya. Palm strike from Petey Williams and a shot from Osami, but Petey has sprawled on that nicely and taken top in straightened amount with a, uh, I believe, a wizard, although I didn't quite see. Uh, good palm strikes from Petey Williams and Osami looks a little bit lost on the bottom of mount. More bitch slaps from Pete Williams and Osami has used the powerful defense of hug the man as hard as he can and they are now being stood up. Front kick from Petey Williams. 30 seconds of the match left. Palm strike from Asami and another shot on a single leg, but without the adequate penetration to finish. Uh, Petey Williams is using a toe hold and pulling up on that to finish pulling himself around to the back. Asami's tried to duck through for a leg and Petey Williams could 
excuse me, a little burp there, uh, could use a modern uh, sort of dope pass, but has decided not to. Because we've hit the end of the match, and PD Williams is moving on to the finals of the Neo Blood Tournament. So I hope you all enjoyed watching that, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time.